morning. Welcome to Washita Mountain Living Podcast. My name is Mike. And let's complain about stuff. That's that's what they're for. Let me get a drink of coffee. Let me, let me get my, my whistle wet so I can talk to you guys. Mm, that's not wet enough. Let's get some vitamins in me. What? I guess I'll be going to the grocery store. Ooh, I got pancake mix in there. I ain't had pancakes in about two years. That's going to be good. Mm. All right, now that uh, it's not done. The whistle ain't wet. We got here. We got red diamond unsweet tea. Mmm. All right, guys, I'm ready. Mmm. Do re mi fa sol la ti da. Okay, we can talk now. All right, what is everybody doing on this fine Sunday morning? I'm barely awake. I just got up. Yeah, eight o'clock. I don't ever sleep that late. But I worked hard yesterday on my cabin. And I'm going to work hard again today. But now I just found out I got to go to the store. What is Rooster doing? He's going to start barking in a minute. All right. Let's get into it. Let me clear my computer here. What is going on in America? America. Well, we let about 7.2 million people in. Chinese, Venezuelans. Boy, they've become really good people, ain't they? Oh, those Venezuelans. You know what they did? You think I'm stupid? They emptied out all their prisons like Cuba did in the 80s. That's what they did. And their mental institutions, now they're all over here. And all them people in prison were gang members. MS-13, whatever, you know. South American gangs they have, that's what they did. Uh, there's a lot of channels on YouTube that show the small town. Let's flip around, I'll show you one of my favorites. And then I'm going to get into what he's talking about. Let's get you turned around. And then let's toggle you up. I always toggle the wrong way. Okay, let's go over here. Let's hit play. Some of them just need some TLC. And some of them are gone for good. That's what's happening in America right now. A lot of our little small towns disappearing little by little. Here's another one. It's about time we got out to real Texas, isn't it? <laughs> this is Headley, Texas. Population, maybe 289. Nobody real. Now, if you've been watching YouTube any length of time, you have seen hundreds of these kind of videos. These people got nothing better to do but travel around the country and show you pathetic, dying, or dead towns. I live in one of them. The whole downtown areas are pretty much either pawn shops, junk stores, or nonsense places that in six months they'll be out of business. Now, when I was a kid, Little towns and downtowns were full of different kind of clothing stores, shoe stores. You had to go to a different store to buy a certain item. I know, it's hard to believe now, isn't it? You couldn't just go to Walmart. We did have Kmart, but they had crap. My dad called Kmart Korea Mart, and he was right. But yeah, if you wanted jeans, you went to we went to a certain store. If you wanted shoes, they had... Shoe stores everywhere, and then Walmart came along, and that is what has destroyed small town America. Every little small town you drive through has closed storefronts, uh, factories are gone, you know, everything went overseas. 
he thanked Bill Clinton for that. Mm -hmm. Everything went overseas to be manufactured. There's no longer mom and pop stores. If you find them, they're few, far and few, blah, 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 far and few between. And like I said, now we just letting, you know, 7.2 million people in. So that's plenty of Mexican restaurants that are coming. They're on the way. But they ain't coming from Mexico, guys. They're not. People think they're coming over the border. They're from Mexico. They're not from Mexico. If we, we should be so lucky. They're coming from China. They're coming from Russia. They're coming from Turkey. They're coming from countries that have terrorists. Because there are terrorists coming into the country. And we just, we're letting it happen. We're letting it happen. And I, I just, my mouth is open. I mean, I just, I can't believe what I see. And the sad thing is, there's so many channels on that people are at the border, they're filming on YouTube. You can see, you can watch every day. You can watch them running across our border every single day by the hundreds and thousands uh, I'm not getting into politics but I'm gonna tell you we got the biggest moron the biggest moron I have ever seen in my life well I wouldn't even say he's a moron he's got dementia we let somebody with dementia run our country or Alzheimer's he's got one of the two and he's running our country because he is a puppet. Do you see Clippy back there on the shelf? He's a puppet. That's what we got running our country. A Clippy. Clippy's brother. Yeah. Makes me mad. And I don't know. I think we're too far gone to fix... Uh, the next president gets in, whoever he is, I'm not mentioning names. If he starts deporting immediately... How, long, how much is that going to cost, you know? <laughs> how long is that going to take? And I don't blame the people, most of them, for wanting to come here. It's a great country. But we're not getting them kind of people. We're getting the wrong kind of people. And we're already seeing it. New York City is already seeing it. Hey, you know, I don't feel sorry for New York City at all. They claim to be a sanctuary city. But now they want, they're saying, oh, we don't want to be one. Too bad. You claimed it. Look at L.A. L.A. is a cesspool. It's a garbage pit. Everything you look at has graffiti and tagging or whatever they call it all over it. People crapping in the street, living, you know, in RVs lined up for miles. I don't, I can't feel sorry for states that proclaim to be that. And then when it comes... They want to turn around and change their minds and say, oh, no, we're not, we're not sanctuary anymore. Look at San Francisco. And I've been to California. I've been there in the early 90s, and actually when I was a baby, we lived in Los Angeles for, I think, about six months. But who could not pay me to go there now? It doesn't even look like an American city. I mean, it does not. It looks like a foreign country. That's because it is. It is a foreign country. It's a mixture of hundreds of foreign countries. And nobody know. you know, English is not the number one language there. So we're going back, you know, the, the forefathers are rolling in their graves right now when they see this. But I will say this. I don't want them here. I do not want people leaving their big city life with their ideals and coming to where I live. I don't want you here. Nope. Thank God I picked a place that's limited on how many people can be here, at least on my road, because of the mountains. You're not going to be building. We're bordered on two sides of National Forest. So, you're not building in the National Forest, but Give it time. They'll, they'll be letting them stay in there, too. We'll call them forest people. A bunch of forest gumps running around. Yeah. You got a, 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 a flower rocking ball row? Mm-hmm. That's going to happen. 
It's only a matter of time before we start housing immigrants, illegal migrants, let's call them that, illegal migrants in the national parks and the national forests. Yeah, they're going to be coming over here wearing strips of cotton with spears. And they're going to say, okay, you guys go to the forest. You're used to living in that. That's coming. What happens when the whole world's in the United States and the rest of the place is empty? Well, I'm leaving. <laughs> I won't have to leave. I'm, not, I'm at the age I don't really, you know, worry about it too much. Uh, if I was 20, I'd be really worried, but I'm not 20. So anyway, there are a lot of videos that, that's going to show you the state of a lot of these towns. I don't care about big cities. I hate big cities. Uh, why anybody would want to live in a big city is beyond me. That is not fun, being crammed up with millions of people, traffic, all of that stuff. Why do you? Why is gas like eight dollars a gallon in Los Angeles when it's not even three dollars a gallon here? People, there's so many people there. They'll pay it because they like that stuff. Well, you guys can stay there. Don't come to my town. Ain't none of us want you. I did. I made this decision to live like the way I do a long time ago. And you guys don't be mad, but it's too late. They're already moving here in droves. And, you know, I don't, I don't, anybody that wants to better their lives and get out of that situation, I understand. But a lot of time, you know, you should have thought of that years ago. And do not come here voting the way that you vote where you left. Because that's what got your state, your city, in the position it was in that made you want to leave. But they don't understand that. They do not understand that. Look at Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia is not a southern city. I'm sorry, it is not. They are not all, most of them are not from the South. That's just the way it is. And that large enough groups of people move to a city, they change the city. So I guess that's about all I got to complain about today. But go check out Nick Johnson. I'll put a link. This guy's channel is awesome. Travels around the country. Um, really good videos. They're usually... 30, 40 minutes, sometimes an hour long. Very entertaining. I save him for prime time. So, I guess that's all I got to complain about today, guys. Thank you for watching. Happy trails. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I take hate comments. If they're bad enough, I'll pin them so everybody can pick on you. Happy trails.